Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Fuse. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from Blade and 01 who wanted the uh, Nemo in Titan's capture colors from Gundam uh, vs. Zeta Gundam. I think I've got a pretty good uh, silver on the chest because uh, thankfully Maelstrom was able to provide me with a with a screen grab of that so I could uh, match it, and I think I've got the color scheme about right. I, it is a nice color scheme. It uses... Uh, it uses uh, silver on the chest instead of the black you'd associate with most Titans mobile suits. It looks really good that way. I tried very hard to get the basically kind of stainless steel finish that the uh, PS2 textures had in that game. Didn't quite do it, but I like how it came out. I think it looks good. I'm using the uh, Gym 2 Beam Rifle again. And, you know, hope everybody did well in the ranked matches I have, you know, totally ignored in my commentary up to now, but there were ranked matches. But uh, I was going to try one with the gym rifle, just so I had uh, videos of the Nemo with all its possible weapons, because I, uh, I do have a request for the uh, cannon soon. But as it is, I did not quite... Uh, I did not remember to equip the gym rifle, so instead I'm using the beam rifle again, and do pretty well. Lost my shield, and got a shot in on that... Uh, uh, on that uh, prototype Gundam. Yeah, the big problem with the with the Gym 2 Beam Rifle is it is just, it takes too long to ready up between shots without overheating. So that is a thing. Got the kill? No, got the assist. I'll take it. But shifting back, did not get clear of the explosion, so I got, uh, got heavy stagger there. Um, it has pretty good range. It has decent power. It stuns without charging, but yeah, it takes a very long time to get back out of the yellow, as you can see. You can fire it consecutively, but if you do, it will overheat, and it will be a good while before you can fire it again. This is a good thing to stack o uh, beam overheat recovery parts on if you have them, but also just it encourages you to play a distance and pick your shots carefully, because it's very difficult to play up close with this gun, at least in my opinion. So, you have to be ready to uh, ready to combo any shot you get with it, like this, and ready to get back out of the way. Luckily the Nemo has a lot of Vulcan ammo and decently damaging Vulcan, but it's, again, that rifle takes a long time to ready back up. As you can see, it's almost there, but not quite. Uh, that Gelgood got back around the rock before I could take a shot. That Doge is headed towards me. Shifted back to get around it, stunned it. No, didn't stun it. It had maneuver armor or possibly that melee defense skill. But luckily, I zoned my uh, downswing just right and caught it, so that is not a bad thing. One thing ab about raids with maneuver armor is if they're not bo uh, boosting, you have an opportunity. But it's ah, it's difficult, and I think the Doge may have the uh, melee skill that prevents it from uh, being interrupted from its melee attacks, which kind of does complicate things, especially if it's doing the big swing with the big axe. But, okay, so we're doing fairly well. Still a ways off till the ace is selected. I've gotten decent shots in here and there. Trying to get over there to that, I think it is a Gundam. Uh, yeah, standard Gundam in this case. Pretty color. Not sure what uh, what uh, decals it's using, so I'm not sure this, if there's any significance to it, but yeah, it looks good. Enemy has a very slight lead, broke the guy's shield, which gives me a little bit of time to recover. Not sh They may have been out of boost, which is why they didn't react to that, because they would have had me dead to rights on the tackle if they did. But, they didn't, and now I shoot a Gelgo. And somebody just jumped down after me, but I was too fast. Pulled way back this way, because I knew if I tried to follow up on the uh, Gelgo, I would not escape. And, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, kind of tried to breathe themselves or earlier that doesn't work incidentally don't do it um i have 170 health if anybody hits me with so much as a vulcan shot i will probably die vulcans are about all i have missed a bazooka shot it's only about 30 seconds till the ace comes in so i think i decided to do a suicide charge here and do as much damage as i could before i dropped because yeah i oh survived for a second of 32 health but yeah there's a non-zero chance as always i could be the ace and if i am I want to be an ace at full health. Somebody recommended me bunch up. It is almost always good advice. And... About 12 seconds left and we will have this. And, or we will have an ace. And hopefully it will be... You know, 
I don't know. I won't, don't want to say hopefully it'll be me, though. I'm, as you've seen, I'm kind of comfortable being the ace, so I, I, you know, sometimes I make mistakes like everybody does, but I'm comfortable with it. I know how to do it. I know what my job is, which is to not stick my neck out too far and to take these shots that will let us uh, get the points, which is why I am going to stick my neck out a little bit or try to and get after that gel good, but it got too far away, so better to stick with my team than get myself isolated. Just kind of sticking behind the, uh, the dune here, because that is a good way to keep cover. Um, though you do not get nine times the points for killing an enemy ace, it's a good target in if you are in need of a target, because the faster you kill them, the less damage the enemy can do, uh, do to your team and your score. So they've got a pretty good lead, but it is not an insurmountable one. He didn't quite get his uh, stun. And I believe that that is a uh, viewer there, and that Akzaku just uh, can back me up a little bit. Okay, just leave it to me, guys. I can do this. And, okay, just got to wait for it to be vulnerable. But, yeah, if you leave it to me, I can do it. He has no health, so he's probably going to take a, a suicide shot. And, okay, somebody else jumped in front while they retreated. That was good teamwork, actually. Got the stun. They are doing a really good job of preventing me from getting in. Um, yeah, somebody sent the Tele in danger, because I sure am. But trying to just at least take down that Gelgud before I get killed, and I don't know if I'm going to do it. One, got it. So that's 1,200 points for us. We are within spitting distance. Did not get that kill. Wish I could have. My rifle is ready. I have almost no health at this point. Probably the wisest thing I can do for the team is get a little bit of repair in while the enemy is not on us. So... Again, the longer you stay alive, the more uh, points you can score, the fewer points the enemy can get off of you. And if I'm going to get up front with everybody, I'm going to need a little bit of health. So, I'm going to just take it to about here, I think. And, no, I... Okay, yeah, I emptied the repair tool. I tend to do one repair tool's worth whenever I can. Puts my health over 9,000. Rah. So, that's, that's good. Now I can get with the team and hopefully, you know, do some damage. We only need one score, to, one kill to take the lead. It's just a matter of keeping it for the rest of the round once we have it. But it is not a bad thing that I got my health back up. I would, I would have, you know, cost us a lot of points otherwise. There are times and places when it is good to repair, especially when you can keep yourself alive as the ace and get a good uh, shot in there. So that's a kill. Overheated my rifle, worth it. Got a downswing, but I was left myself super vulnerable, which was foolish. 15 seconds, retreating over the dunes. Did not have time to hit them. Don't think I stunned any of my teammates, though, and that guy's probably going to make a suicide run at me, which I means I may have a chance to get a shot in if there's time. Is there time? Nope. Enemy, uh, the rest of my team got him anyway. Got got an assist on the Galgo at the last second. They, they took a lot of kills, but they kept me alive, which at that point, since we had the lead already, was more important than letting me get the kills. So... It was a good strategy and good teamwork, and hey, not bad, all told. 4,300 points, 1,000 points of assists, 79,000 damage, 4 kills, and 1 death. Not bad at all. So that is going to do it for today's Gun Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! There are a bunch of really nice capture color schemes in the uh, early versus games. Sadly, I don't think there's any like online database of them that I know of, so it's hard to look them up. But it's they really are nice. A lot of them very basic, just you know the colors most commonly associated with that faction. But uh, often that works out pretty well. And then you have things like the Gelgug and Gundam colors, and that just works out really well. <laughs>